close your eyes and focus on the breath. Stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. The mind needs a good place to stay. Sometimes you hear people say that the practice is all about letting go, letting go. That's not true. The Buddha said you have to delight in two things. One, you delight in letting go, but you also delight in developing. And to develop concentration, you need to hold on. There are some good attachments in the path. After all, desire is useful in the path. The desire to do this well. And the willingness to find some pleasure in doing it. It's not that you're just letting go of anything and everything. You have to let go skillfully. The image they use in the forest tradition is climbing a ladder up to the top of a roof. You hold on to one rung, and then you hold on to the next rung higher than that. And then, then you let go of the first one, and hold on to the next one higher than that, and higher and higher, letting go, holding on, letting go, holding on, all the way up to the top. It's only when you've gotten to the roof that you can let go of the ladder entirely. So you learn how to hold on to good things. Hold on to any pleasure that's in line with the Dharma. Hold on to the parts of the mind that you can get under your control. We don't just say everything is in constant, stressful, not self, and just let go. We push to see how many things in the mind we can make constant. Try to make your concentration as constant as you can. Try to make your, all your skillful attitudes as constant as you can. Try to find a sense of ease in staying here. Try to gain some control over what's going on. You'll find eventually there are certain things that you cannot control. But in the meantime, learn to get the most out of what you can. So don't look at the Dharma with just one eye. Look at it with two eyes. There are things that are worth letting go, but also things worth developing, holding on to for the time being. And only in that way is your practice going to be balanced and safe. Otherwise, it's trying, like trying to climb a ladder, but letting go of every rung. You're going to fall. And the quicker you try to get up to the top and letting go, letting go, the, the harder you're going to fall. So take things step by step by step. Hold on to what you see is good. Let go of what you know is not good. And you find that your understanding of what's good and what's not good gets more and more refined. And that will lead you on. So eventually you can get to the end of the ladder and can let go safely, because you're safely on the roof. Just make sure you don't let go halfway up.